How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be going over the Kobo Mini for beginners. I'm going to be going over just a basic tutorial on how to use the device, where is everything, and kind of how you navigate your way around it, okay? Uh, very simple interface. There's not too many things um, you need to know, but uh, let's jump right in, okay? So first things first, uh, this is the home screen of the Kobo Mini, and how do you know that? Because at the top here it says home, and there's two parts to the home screen. There is the the uh, reading section, and that's where you'll actually see any books that you've purchased, as well as um, this is a little picture I drew because there's an option uh, in the settings where you can actually go to a little sketch pad. You can, you can kind of draw things on it. So that this is a little sketch I drew just playing around. The other half of the... Um, Oh, and it went to sleep on me. The other half of the uh, home menu is the bookstore. And to get to there, you just tap bookstore. And here you'll see uh, where you can look for books to download. And the three options you have is discover, browse, and search. Now, when you do discover, you have an option to look at best-selling books, and it'll recommend books for you. If you were to go to browse... You can actually look look for different books by category. You can also go to a, a, a reading list, or you can just uh, look for free ebooks. Let me show you what the category mean looks like really quickly. So it's just getting the network to connect to Wi-Fi. I, I think what it does is uh, when it does go to sleep, I think it disconnects from Wi-Fi so that it saves the battery because you'll see that option a lot where it's saying looking for a network. And really, that just means that it's connecting to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, so it's loading here, and it should be done in a second. And these are the different categories you have. Fiction, literature, comics, novel, biography, romance, mystery, blah, blah, blah. And down at the bottom, you have these arrows here. So we're only on page one of the categories. If we tap the arrow, we can go to page two, and we'll actually get a list of more categories to choose from. And we can also go to one more page, which is page three. And then we'll have a couple of more options here. So you can tap on any one of these options, and it will take you to the relevant books, magazines, etc., that relates to that category. Let's tap uh, kids and teens and see what comes up. So now it breaks it down from all books, fiction, nonfiction. I'm going to go all books in this category. And now we have a list here. And so to look through that list, you can, and it'll only show you about five at a time, you can uh, tap right here where it says bestsellers. And you can actually um, separate them by price, which is low to high, rating, or A to Z. Okay, if not, it'll be set to bestseller. Okay, and then we can tap this arrow to jump to the next page. And um, there are tons of pages that you can go through here. Uh, there's uh, 11,000 pages full of children's books you can choose from. We can also use uh, the little slider here. If you take your finger and just touch it and just drag to the right you can actually jump between the pages and maybe you want to look a little bit faster or you have them in order and you want to jump to a certain section you let it go it'll jump to the center of the pack so that's how you kind of jump or how you accelerate your search kind of quickly there without having to go page by page and let's see here you can tap the little arrow next to categories and then um, you have more options here similar books recommended for you free books reading lists and search Kobo okay what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna actually tap the home button in the upper left corner you have a little home icon and whenever you tap that it will take you back to your home screen okay and right now we're on the bookstore option of the home screen now we're gonna tap search because search is the option where maybe you know exactly what book that you want to look for. You go to search, you type it in, and it'll pull up the book just like that. So I'm going to type in Hunger Games. Okay. And I'm going to hit go. And now it will search for it. And then it'll pull up a list for us to, to, um, to look at. It looks like it's still searching, so it's taking a little while. Here we go, and here's our list. And here's one. This is uh, Catching Fire, which is the second book in the series. So now once you find a book that you're looking for, one you like, you don't necessarily have to buy it right away. You can just tap on the book, 
and it will take you to um, a section where you can look at a synopsis of the book so here we have a synopsis page one this is page two you can tap read preview and if you tap that um, a uh, preview of the book will actually be downloaded onto your Kobo so you can actually go back to your home screen and you can flip through a couple of the first pages to kind of get a gist of it to decide if you want to download that book or not actually if you want to buy it you can also rate the book right here um, uh, kind of give your feedback on it as well obviously I don't know why you would rate it first if you haven't read it yet but no worries so if you notice here the book downloaded and it, the uh, preview opened right up and here's the preview but we're gonna go away from that for now go back to the home screen and bookstore so um, that's kind of just a, a basic overview of kind of how you look for books and again um, browse those are your options there. Let me show you what Discover looks like. And we can tap on Recommended for you. And we can see what books is Kobo going to recommend for me. Uh, let us recommend your next book. Uh, be sure to let us know what you're interested in. Let's tap Add a Book. So actually, um, it doesn't recommend right away. So you actually have to kind of go through a couple of things. So from there, you, we can go to Top 50 Books. And we can see what are the best selling books right now. Kind of go through that. Okay, Firefly Lane, the Laura Cardinal novels, My Sister's Keeper. And we can just tap the arrow here to go back and forth through it like that. We can again, we can tap details to get a more detailed look and that will take you again to the synopsis if we want to buy it we just tap buy which is two ninety nine, and then it will build your credit card and it will download right to the Kobo now you can go back to the previous menu or you can tap the X in the upper right corner to get back to your home screen or this is actually it took us back to recommendations and I'm going to tap the home screen here now in the upper right corner you'll see a couple of things this is your uh, Wi-Fi indicator it lets you know how strong your Wi-Fi signal is your battery indicator is right here and then we have our menu button right here when we tap menu you can turn Wi-Fi on and off just by checking and unchecking the box right here you'll have the time the battery percentage you can see exactly how much time is left and also the last time that it was synced Okay. Now, uh, here's the cool part. If you go to settings, this is where you kind of have a, a bigger list of options here. Uh, you can look at your account, see what email is registered. You can actually link it with Facebook, and that kind of helps out with sharing um, different things you've read. In the uh, like, when you read, you can actually share quotes, and um, you can also tap other options to look at your billing information as well maybe you want to switch the credit card that it's under um, stuff like that let's go ahead and go back we have sleep and power this is where you decide um, uh, how much time it takes for the for the uh, Kobo to go to sleep and basically that's when it'll jump to the uh, the sleep screen and it will kind of go into a power saving mode Now you can set it to never go off or you can set it to go off as soon as five minutes Next, you have auto power down. So you can say, hey, you know, after 20 minutes, if no one's touched it, power it off. Now, it has a two month battery life, so you're not going to really need it to, to shut it off. It's not like you need to really conserve your battery because it's going to last you a long time. So I wouldn't worry too much about that one. And then this is your screensaver, and uh, whatever the last book you've opened up, if this is checked, then that'll come up as the screensaver. And then you can also choose if the screensaver is full screen or not. And we have our page two sleep cover. Um, if you were to purchase Kobo's uh, special case for it, there's a way that when it, uh, you close the case, it actually puts it to sleep. And this is where you turn that feature on and off, which is right here. We're going to use our back arrow to go back. Next, we have date and time. This is where you're going to set uh, the date, time zone, and the time. Pretty self explanatory. Next we have the language. This is where you'll switch the language. Uh, I think there's over 20 different languages that do work with the Kobo, so that's awesome. Um, you can also switch the dictionaries as well. 
Uh, there are different languages for the dictionaries too, so that's cool. And then now let's go back. We have reading settings. You can kind of choose how sensitive the page is in terms of how the pages are turned. Um, you can have it refresh the screen every six pages. Uh, set the number of pages you turn before a full screen for, uh, refresh occurs. It says choose where you where you prefer to tap your screen in order to to page forward, and that's basically how it's going to change the page. So you can have it. Um, so you just tap the right to change the page, which is this option, or this one is you swipe left and right, um, or this one you actually just tap the left side, and then if not, there's the whole right side. I wouldn't really change these because what it's set right now is if you just swipe your finger to the left or right, that's how it changes the pages, and that's probably the easiest way. All right, let's go back here. Wi-Fi connection as if you want to connect to a new network or disconnect to a network. Device information about Kobo, uh, which is not really important. Now, extras is really cool because in this, you can actually, you have a couple of games that come stock with it. Chess, you have a sketch pad, Sudoku, and a web browser to go on the internet. So these are all some, some fun extras that come with the Kobo.